Hey everyone, Nate Scott here, www.asknatescott.com, also at www.learntoinvesttoday.com. That's where I want you to go right now because I tell you what, you've got to go pick up this document that I've created that says, where is your current life plan taking you? If you're on the page right now, you've got to go ahead and click that link above so that you can get this document. Go ahead, print it read it, devour it, get it with your CPA, your financial advisor, your 401k administrator, and make sure that you share it with those people that you love and care about. Here's what I found out as I was actually putting this together. Did you know that in a survey by the Social Security Administration, out of 100 people age 65, 66 out of the 100 have income under $30,000. 13 have income over $30,000, five have income over $60,000, only one is considered to be wealthy, and the remaining 16 are dead, done, over, rest in peace, can't do nothing, don't need no money, out of here. You feel me? So here's what I realized. If we don't do something right now to make sure that people actually take the time to actually plan, then a lot of us out here would be shouldering that burden, that financial burden. We've got to do a better job of actually educating people and actually helping our people to become financially literate. Most of the population are not financially literate. And it's not that difficult. Is it a big conspiracy? You know what? That's what I thought it was back in 2001 when I finished reading Rich Dad Poor Dad. When I finished reading that book, I was like, are you serious? Are you really serious that money is really that simple? I mean, think about it. When you look at that book or go see uh, or read Cashflow Quadrant, another book by Robert Kiyosaki, what you will find is a couple things that I thought that were really just powerful. The first thing that I saw that was powerful was the flow of income difference between the poor, the middle class, and the wealthy. Here's what he showed in this book. He showed that you have the two financial statements. You got your income statement, and your balance sheet. The flow of income for the poor is income to expenses then out the window. Income expenses out the window. How do you know? Well, if you're living in an apartment and you're not able to qualify for anything else, it's income to your rent then out the window. It's really that simple. Now, the income flow for the middle class is not really that much better. And here's what it looks like. Income to liabilities, back to expenses, because every liability has an associated expense, then out the window. Income, liability, expense, out the window. So that means student loans, mortgage, car loans, any type of things that have an associated expense, out the window, that's generally the profile for the middle class. Now here's what was really significant to me. Here's where the light bulb went off. Here's what enabled me in a 90 day window to acquire over a million dollars in assets that eventually led me to being a millionaire at 32 and generating over $10,000 of passive income. This is what enabled me to do that. The income flow for the wealthy looks like this. Income to assets which generate income that then allow you to pay out and acquire those liabilities that have an associated expense. So here's what I want to impart to you. We've got to go income to assets, to income to assets, to income to assets, to income to assets. And what I would encourage you to do is make sure that you plant that seed early on that will allow you to grow into a harvest. Now, the other thing that was just really mind-blowing for me that really struck a chord and it made me say, wow, we've got to get this information out there to everyone, is that I learned about the cash flow quadrants. Cash flow quadrants. And the E quadrant, which is the top left, that stands for the employee. The bottom left, self-employed. Top right, business owner. Bottom right, investor. The question that I have for each one of you today is what quadrant do you find your income coming from? 
that will tell a lot about what your financial condition is. You see, E quadrant is the employee. That means you're tied to the job and that simply means a job is great, but here's what it does. It puts you in a position of weakness. You're actually dependent upon that income stream or that employer's decisions. You're dependent upon whether or not the employer wants to keep you employed. You're constantly on that track where you've got to feel like you've got to continue to get more education in order to keep up. If you're in the S quadrant, you're in the self-employed quadrant, which means that it's all about you. Oftentimes, business owners think they're actually business owners, but they're actually self-employed, which means that if you aren't able to go away for six months to a year and come back having more income than when you left, or if you find yourself not being able to sit by your loved ones by bedside because you're thinking about the fact that you got to go to work, or if you find yourself that if you were to stop working that your income would stop, then you're in that self-employed quadrant. The business owner is a quadrant that has systems in place that will allow you to generate income whether or not you're working. It allows you to surround yourself with a team. It's about leverage. That's what takes place in the business quadrant. Income is actually able to be produced because you're leveraging other people's time, other people's resources, leveraging your knowledge, anything that will allow you to get more with less. And then the I quadrant is where you're actually making your money work for your money. And that's the heart of this document here. That's the heart of your current, where is your current life plan taking you? That's what you will find from the website Learn to Invest Today. It's focusing on helping you to generate a substantial return on your investment. I'm talking about investments that are beginning at 9% that exceed, I mean, just blow out the water by year two, 38% and everything else above that. And here's what's critical. And what's really, really exciting about this is leveraging the home-based business. That's right. It's leveraging the home-based business. And what it's also doing is allowing you to actually get more money coming back into your home instead of it giving it to the government. So go ahead right now. Be sure to print out this document. Read it. Read it with a highlighter. Get me on the phone with your CPA, your financial advisor, your 401k administrator, and let's have a real serious talk. Or send me an email with your questions so that I can continue to build out this frequently asked questions or frequently made statements. My number is 904-838-2623. My email address is nate at asknatescott.com. You got to get this in your hand. This is going to revolutionize what you're take, what's actually taking place in your world right now. This is going to give you a sound financial plan. It's going to give you something that will allow you to bless your family members from generations. Because what I put in here can actually be implemented by a 14 year old. Okay, 14 years and up. So go ahead, get this document printed out. Give me a call if you have any questions. Again, this is Nate Scott www.asknatescott.com directing you to www.learntoinvesttoday.com and my number once again is 904-838-2623 I'm going to get out of here because I got to go get this word to other people I got to get this stuff printed out and hand it out one by one so hey go ahead and get that done right now okay if you have any questions give me a call but until next time I want to say take care and I'm out of here be blessed